Hey writers, I hope you spent some time working on editing your personal narrative. Now I want you to get started with the writing partner process. So please watch this video before you get started so you understand what our expectations are and what the process is. And um, then you can get going on this because we really only have about one week left of getting this narrative completely finished. We will have one more editing lesson next week and then we're going to publish and turn them in. Enjoy! Hey everybody, I'd like to go through the process we're going to follow for writing partners. So if you take a look at this quote, successful people build each other up, they motivate, inspire, and push each other. I think that's a really great quote that we should keep in mind, that our job is to build each other up. All right, so here is an example from the days of paper when we were only using paper and notebooks for our writing. And this is an actual student example of some writing partner feedback. I'm not gonna read all of it to you, but I like the beginning here. Nice lead. Huh, all right, longer. I think your first paragraph is right to the point, so nice job. Remember, you are, here's a wish. Remember, you are talking in past tense. Your second paragraph showed present tense. I think you could work more on that. So the organization is kind of crazy. Just this is quite thoughtful feedback that the writing partner took a lot of time and gave some helpful suggestions for this writing to get better. Here's the process we are going to follow. Step one will be to locate your writing partner on the list that will be posted in Google Classroom. Then you will share your personal narrative with your writing partner. When you share your personal narrative with your writing partner, you're going to go over here to share. If you see that little lock means that it's private only to me, you want to share. And you're going to put that person's name. So I'm going to say Julie Reed. But you can see here, editor. You do not want your writing partner to edit your work because it's not their job to change your writing. They're just going to give you feedback. So you're going to change that to viewer. All right. And then notify and say, Hi, will you please give me feedback? You know, something like that. And then you will send. And you will do the same thing when you fill out the feedback template. You're not going to give it to the person to edit. You're just going to let them view. All right? I hope that helps. You will open the Writing Partners template, which is found in Google Classroom. You will add your partner's name to the template. Then step four will be to read your partner's narrative paper and really think about what feedback you can give that will be helpful. Two positive comments and a suggestion. A suggestion, not a negative comment. So what could make that better? And then step five will be to share that completed template with your writing partner. And then you'll turn it in also. And then step six will be read and consider the comments your partner made about your paper and, you know, decide if you're going to make some of those changes or what you think of the positive comments they gave. And then send your partner a quick email thanking them for taking the time to read your paper. Here's an example that Mrs. Reed shared with her friend Kathleen, her story about um, the squirrel attack, but how she changed her ending. Those of you in first hour will know about that. I love the ending. It made me think about how we define ourselves. Hmm. Another star. I thought the part where you described the squirrel attacking you was great. I could really picture the scene. And then here's the wish. You might think about adding more dialogue to the part after the attack. Keep in mind, again, our goal is 
to help your writing partner improve their writing by celebrating two su successes and offering one suggestion. So that's two stars and a wish. Here's an example of an email message. This is what Mrs. Reed sent to her friend Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you so much for taking the time to read my paper. I appreciate your feedback. Best, Julie. So it has the address, who she's writing it to, her little message, and um, that her signature at the end with a closing. Remember that email etiquette. All right. Your turn. <laughs> 